up, tubers, growers, and cannabis smokers? Welcome back to the Beginner's Grower Guide series, and today we're going to talk about RO systems and purified water and why I think everyone should have an RO system. All right, let's talk about the RO system that I have. I have a three-stage RO system from High Pure. Now, if you guys are wanting to get one of these RO systems that I use right here in the corner will be the website and you can use discount code MEDGROWER1 and if you know Cali Green 420 and I'm sure you do this he's partnered with this company and I am helping him promote this RO system so alright you guys RO systems are super important. The reason why I think it's super important when growing uh, specifically cannabis and maybe everything is you strip the water down to pretty much either zero or almost zero parts per, per million. Meaning you're taking out all the minerals of the water and you're starting fresh and putting your own minerals that your plant needs in the water or the, the, your your nutrients so you know you're starting clean and fresh so when you're growing you shouldn't have that in your mind that maybe it was my unarrowed water you know I had too high of ppm now I'm going to show you my water what it reads before it goes through the system and then we'll take a reading after it goes through the RO system and um, actually I don't even have to dip it in water because my RO system has a cool parts per million reader on it. So after it goes through the system, you can hit the little button and it'll actually tell you what it's coming out as. So let's go ahead and check out the RO system that I have and we'll start talking about the three stage system. All right guys, here we go. This is my RO system from High Pure. It is the Piranha 100. This is actually an add-on to the system. We'll talk about it in a minute. But this is a three-stage system right here, and there's the pressure gauge. Comes with a little tool to help you change out the filters, um, and you can also use this tool to change out the bladder. So right here is the two filters before the RO bladder, and this is the uh, carbon filter, and this is the dirt and sand filter right here. I should have done an unboxing video when I got this a long time ago and I did not and we could have broke it all down and I should have done a video on showing you how to put it all together because you have to put it all together when you get it. You gotta you know clip everything together. It's pretty easy. I mean once you get everything all clipped on to each other you can start making these these connectors. You guys can see it's sweating like crazy because obviously it's hot and this is coming from my well water so and right here is where I got it sourced from from my I just split off from my water and you know went and got a little garden hose hookup from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever and we mounted it up then we went and got the um, UV sterilizer now I got one part that I got to get because we gotta add this into this line right here for the UV. Now the UV sterilizer, after it goes through the filters, the three stages, it first goes through these two filters, then it goes through your RO, and then it comes back around and hits my UV sterilizer, which is a light bulb in there, UV, and it sterilizes the water. So if you have any bacteria whatsoever in your well or your city water all right I know a lot of people's city water is treated but it could still have bacteria in it believe it or not this is a good thing to have no matter what your water source is and I also think the same thing about the RO unit too as well and then it comes out and goes into uh, our holding reservoir right there now this unit comes I was speaking speaking about that earlier I don't even have to dip the water out of there and put my meter in it to test it if I don't want to we'll see how accurate they are I can hit this button twice apparently there we go tells me the status of my filter which is still a green light which means it's still good 
and we're reading one part per million. That's it. So after it strips it down from the well, it's coming out at only one part per million. That's what this is saying. Now we'll put my, uh, we're gonna take a cup of water and we're gonna test it and show you guys. So, all right, most people will tell you um, to start using RO systems if you have 150 parts per million or higher coming out of your tap. I say rubbish. If you got that high coming out of your tap, you need an RO system. Because I don't want to start with 150 parts per million of whatever in my water before I feed my plants. You know, this is stuff that we're ingesting ourselves in our bodies, so we got to take everything into consideration. All right? So, and I've smoked pure well water grown bud and it tastes like shit to be honest with you guys so that's why it was super important for me to get one of these right away this is actually my second system my old one's right there when Callie hit me up it was time to change out the bladder and and you know it's a three stage two it was time to you know change out those filters too and I had a UV sterilizer hooked up to that one as well. So that's how important I think UV sterilizers are. So if you're, I just think everyone should have one of these, even if you're on city water or not, or you're filtered three times to whatever. See now, the other important thing is, is this water system out here to the garage is before my water softener so it's not a high level of salted water coming in it's just straight well water and then we let this do its job strip it down all right when i start smelling a lot of sulfur in my reservoir it's time to change out um these filters it's time to change these filters now i gotta make an order myself and uh, we'll make a video on that too as well changing out the filters uh, the other thing is is the uh, pressure gauge like right now mine's down somebody's obviously using the water in the house but when you're using RO systems it's important to be it in the green you see how there's green there you want your needle in the green right now mine's sitting at what 40 psi that's because someone's using using the water right now in the house normally it's hovering around 50 all right, so if you're in the green, it's gonna drip at a decent rate and probably replenish your reservoir and the next morning you come out. If you're down in the yellow, it's gonna take forever. You know, take two days to fill this 40 gallon reservoir right here, 44 or whatever, it'd take two days. There are pumps that you guys can buy to help boost this if your well pump is a lower PSI all right and that's what it all has to do with the pump in the house you know the pressure water pressure in the house you know Wayne says he's down in Tennessee it's hundred and twenty everywhere because I have 60 PSI um, pump under the house and Wayne says it's double over there so all right let's get testing some of this water so we can show you guys what I'm talking about I'm gonna take a cup of water right out of the sink here. Jeez. So we'll turn that on. Come over here and get us a cup. And we're gonna fill it up. Well, that's definitely more than good. So let's rinse it out first. I already rinsed it out, but I wanna make sure everything's out of there. All right, that's that's plenty of that water. Now we'll get some RO water. All right, RO water in this glass, well water in the other glass. You can see the cups are a little different. All right, so we're gonna fire up the meter here. the meter we use this is the meter we recommend to everyone 
Yes, it's 200 and whatever dollars, but believe me, if you take care of it, you'll have it for a very long time. You see a lot of growers using this meter now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the well water first. So we'll fire this bad boy up. I'm just probably read a little bit because I just stuck it in the sink to rinse it off. All right, let's stick it in. This is the well water. I gotta change it to PPMs. All right, that's what my well water is reading. 380 and 60 whatever one degrees out of the well 390 380 all right so it's 380 parts per million out of the well that's what it is after it goes through the well see a little meter thing said one or said one part per million on the digital readout but my other RO system after it went through that three-stage RO system always read 10 parts per million so we're stripping out 370 parts per million of garbage and leaves only 10 parts per million left after it goes through the three-stage stripper and the UV sterilizer. So this is some pretty clean water here. Now you guys can see the pH is all crazy high at seven whatever, but that's natural pH range, you know. So now that's pretty good, you guys. You get it to strip down to 10 parts per million to zero to one part per million or whatever. That's pretty good. That's that's actually really good. So we're starting super fresh and clean water you know there's next to nothing in that water but the nutrients you mix up and feed and give to your plant and believe me you guys there is a difference in flavor there is a difference in the end result i promise you that i have like i said earlier smoked pure grown well water cannabis several times i had a person that lived in the same neighborhood as me that grew and it tasted awful the plants looked beautiful everything about it the grow looked great except the water that they were using and the other thing that happens when you're using that well water is it, be, it, it comes with a lot of buildup so if you're using a watering system like we have here with the uh, matrix system automation or any automated watering system it it just builds up it build up on your drippers it build up on everything your pumps your PVC fittings so it's just really best you guys to have the cleanest water possible okay so that's my thoughts on the RO system and why I think you should use them just how important they are no matter what your water source is you guys um, even if you're in city water, even if it's only 50 parts per million, I still would strip that 50 parts out. I know that might sound a little uh, petty, but I just would start cleaning. And, and that RO system's not that expensive anymore. They used to be kind of pricey back in the day, but we can even find them under $200 now, the two stage. So, and you can go to their High Peers website, and use my discount code, and you can get it cheaper. I like theirs because of how small and compact it is compared to the, the other one I showed you. Um, I like the little um, readout, it tells you the life of the filter, um, and I, I just like it better. We've been using it for a while now, probably, Kelly sent that to us 10, 11 months ago, maybe a year now, and I just don't talk about it a lot, and I think that's something that us growers should talk about more is your water source and water quality when you're growing. So, all right, that's it for this video. Before I get on out of here, guys, if you're looking for any genetics, head on over to mg1brands.com. 
And if I'm out of anything over there, you guys can also check out EmpireReadingSeal.com to see if they have any MG1 seeds in stock over there as well. If you're looking for any of the lights that I use, I'm a wholesaler for HLG. You can head on over to MG1LEDLights.com and support us that way as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please put your comments down in the comment section. Hit those thumbs ups and share the videos for us. We totally appreciate that. Until next time, you guys. Peace.